Hey guys, I'm back to another video, and today I want to go and talk about consoles and handhelds, and I want to talk about them within the context of buying, buying consoles and handhelds, and when to buy them. That's that's the main goal of this video. When should you buy a console? When should you buy a handheld? Now, my answer is two or three years. Now, the reason I say two or three years is because when you buy a console at launch, there's not a lot of ga great games for it. You know, it, even though it might have a lot of games for it, you know, depending on the person you are, depending on what you already have or don't have, you know, buying a console at launch may not be the greatest idea. You know, um, there won't be many games. The console or, or handheld, whichever you're buying, may be, a bit, may be a bit, you know, expensive. You know, it may be a bit pricey. Um, and on top of that, future bundles and models of the system could come out and will have games that you may also want so uh... maybe maybe they'll be like um... i don't know uh... for an example for for myself uh... if they were to release a sly cooper ps4 which i'm pretty sure they won't uh... if they were to ever release a sly cooper five with a ps4 and the ps4 was like decked out with like sly cooper stuff i'd definitely be like why did I buy this console? Like, why didn't I just wait? <laughs> so, you know, waiting and patience is key to when you should buy a console. So, I'm getting into my first story. I have two of them today. Uh, my first story is about when I when when I bought the 3DS. Now, I bought it around when it launched. All right, I bought it around March 2011, which is when it did launch. Uh, I, I believe it. I bought it the week of. When it launched, uh, I believe I bought it the Saturday, Saturday or Friday or something like that. I went to my Toys R Us, went in there, bought the black 3DS, and it it retailed at 249.99 US dollars. And I mean that pipe that price point for a handheld, pretty pricey, you know. Uh, and on top of that, at launch. There were like no great games for it. Like there is straight up like nothing for it. There was, I mean, like we had Pilot Wings, which was like a, a cool like tech demo, and the Ten Dogs and Cats, if that was your thing. Street Fighter Four, uh, I actually bought that. Um, Madden NFL, Lego Star Wars Three, Super Monkey Ball, Rayman 3D, which is the other game I also bought. I only bought two games, but you know, just from this launch lineup, this was just like you know, like, one-third of the launch lineup, I just told you guys, um, it's not a lot of great games, you know, there, there's no Mario, there's no Zelda, there's no, you know, anything great Nintendo title that'll pull you in, and will basically make you want to buy the console, so, you know, that's, that's the first problem with it, and on top of that, most of the games that were playing at launch, I believe, weren't, you know, like Mario 3D Land didn't come out for like a couple months. On top of that, there was Ocarina of Time that didn't come out um, at launch as well. So there were just a lot of like great games that you just had to wait for. And by the time you waited, there were price drops on the console. There were bundles with Ocarina of Time or Super Mario 3D Land. And yeah, <laughs> so waiting a little bit, you know, a, a couple months may not even hurt that that bad, you know, as as with the 3DS incident, you know, Nintendo was basically like, we're running out of money. And the reason is because this console's not selling. So you have to drop the price. They, I believe they dropped it $50, so it was $200, something like that. You know, they 150 for like the 3DS would be insane. You know, for the original 3DS, that would be crazy. But I believe, I mean like now, if you look at the, the 3DS now, we have the new 3DS, we have the 2DS, we have the XL model of the 3DS. So, there's just a lot of other choices for the console itself. And on top of that, there's a lot of games for the 3DS. Like, there's so many games. Like, there's, um, like I mentioned, uh, Ocarina of Time, 3D Land, Majora's Mask, um, Mario and Luigi Dream Team, uh, Bravely Default, Fire Emblem. Like, there's so many, like, other great games that I can't even bring up on my head on the top of my head right now because there's just there's just so many games you know if if you would ask me to make a top 10 3ds games which i think i did already um uh i i would be able to do that but you know now it 
It'd probably be like top 15, maybe, you know. But, point is, if you just wait, you know, a year or two, you'll get better stuff, you know, you'll get a lot more games to choose from, you'll get a, a cheaper console, you'll get a different model, or a, the model you want, you know, like, the original black and blue 3DS was cool, but, like, now we get, like, 3DS XL, like, Mario's, we got 3DS XL, like, Smash Brothers editions, we got one with, like, Yoshi on it, like, we have so many other choices when it comes down to it later on. Now, my second story uh, is about the Wii U. <laughs> you know, I obviously did not learn from my 3DS experience to wait. So, I basically was like, alright, I'm going to go buy the Wii U. And I was kind of disappointed at launch. Anyways, uh, the first off, the game retail... Uh, the game. <laughs> the console itself retailed at $349. And the cheaper price was 299 so $300 for a console. You know what? That's not that bad, especially since the PS3 Slim launched at that. So, you know what? It's not exactly the worst price in the world, but it's still, you know, a lot of money for a video game console. So, 349 is the model I went with because that was the deluxe model and it came with a bunch of other stuff other than just the console itself. And the fact that this was, quote-unquote, Nintendo's largest launch lineup you know they had a lot of games here you know i'm i'm just going to list a couple of them uh that's that stuck out to me assassin's creed 3 batman arkham city dark siders epic mickey 2 just dance new super mario brothers u nintendo land scribble knots tank 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 sonic and all-stars racing transformed tekken uh, Warriors of Rochi 3, Zombie U, you know, these are just some of the games that came out on the console. And the fact that this was, this is Nintendo's largest launch lineup still didn't pull in a lot of units and still didn't sell a lot of games, you know. This launch lineup is consistent, is is basically a bunch of third-party titles. So uh, I'm, I'm basically being blunt right now, you know. It, it's just a bunch of third-party titles. And most of them did not sell all that well, which I wonder why, because it's on the Wii U. And because of this, this hurt Nintendo's third-party support so much. And I, I hear so many games being like, Xbox One and PS4, sorry, no Wii U, because, you know, ah, <laughs> because Nintendo is behind when it comes to graphical fidelity compared to the PS4 and Xbox One. You know, if I'm going to be, like, straight up with you. You know, the NX will probably, like, be on par, hopefully better than the PS4 and Xbox One graphically, but I'm 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 basically hoping for on par, you know, because Nintendo really does like doing their own thing, which is fine because they still make money, they still, you know, get their job done, which is to make video games fun. And you know, when I bought the console at launch, the most unfortunate thing happened is that the system itself did not even work. So I had to call up Nintendo, and they had uh, to go and repair it, which was really tragic. It, it, it really did suck. But, you know what? Those are my two stories. And the only two games I got, like, at launch, quote-unquote, is, like, Nintendo Land and New Super Mario Bros. U. And the only reason I got New Super Mario Bros. U was because that's, like, the only other game I really wanted out of the entire launch lineup. So... And I bought my PS3. Um, I bought it when the Slim came out, which was three years later. And by that point, the PS3 launched at 599 US dollars, and the PS3 Slim launched at 299 US dollars. So basically, saving 300 dollars right there. And then there were already a good amount of games out for the console you know three years into the life cycle you would expect there to be good games which there were you know they we had uncharted infamous ratchet and clank resistance um i believe batman already came out you know uh, batman arkham arkham asylum so you know there were there were already good games on the console and on top of that since i was a sly cooper fan around that time when i bought my ps3 the sly collection was announced and i was like there we go. There we go. Like that. I'm. I'm basically gonna play my my PS3 for like the next week or so, which I did because that. That's. 
the fact that there was already a established amount of games on it allowed me to play it for a longer time. You know, nowadays I play my, my PS3 here and there. You know, because of, because of my summer backlog challenge, I picked a couple PS3 games. So you know, I do play the console here and there. But the fact that when I bought it, I played it longer than I would have when I bought it at launch is crazy. Honestly, because you know, when you buy that launch, you you'd expect there to be you know like something awesome and cool, but really like you're paying for it just to have it at launch. I think because like I I bought the Wii U, you know, I bought the Wii U at launch. I am one of the many people that had their Wii U dusty as hell for the next couple of months until Nintendo released another game that was worth buying. And yeah, nowadays my Wii U is not that dusty because I do use it every day and. You know what, if I had just waited a little bit, you know, if I had just waited a year or two, um, now it's like three years, you know, I, I'd i get all of these great games on the console, you know, now there's Bayonetta, Smash Brothers, Hyrule Warriors, Pikmin 3, Mario 3D World, now we got Star Fox on the way, and the Zelda Wii U game as well, so there's just a lot of great games for the console now, which... I don't really see a reason why to now wait for a console anymore. You know, if when the NX is announced, depending on the launch lineup, I might get it. You know what? I may get it because I love Nintendo that much. So, just just waiting a little bit. Heck, even just a year. You know, just to go and see on how the console does. See if Nintendo is going to drop the price. All right, that's fine. Just wait a little bit. That's all I'm saying. And I think the the best time, like the, the like the absolute best time to buy a console, is when it's at the end of its life cycle. Now, this may be a bit far fetched for some of you people because you're like, um, you know, I want a PS4 right now. Uh, you know, waiting until the end of its console, or or until the end of its life cycle, may be a bit painful. You know, but um, for one thing, the prices on the console itself will be as low as it can be. You know, because not it, no one really wants it because, you know, the next ones are coming out. Like, when the PS3 ended, you know, the PS4 was coming out, PS3s were on sale. So, and on top of that, the games for the console have already been established. You know, there's already a good amount of games on the console. Like, the PS3, uh, you know, the three games that I can name of that are really good. Ratchet & Clank, Uncharted, and The Last of Us. So, you know, you already have... Three great games up right there. You know, you got Infamous, God of War, Sly Cooper, if you're into that, um, Batman. You know, there's there's a lot of other games that I haven't even touched yet or that are on the PS3 exclusively. So, you know, and you could also get the model that you want. You know, whether you want the super slim PS3 or if you want the regular slim PS3, you know, whichever one you want. You know, you could go on Amazon or eBay or whichever place you want to go to to get your console you know craigslist heck if you want but my point is is that buying a buying a console at launch is not the best idea you know if you if you really do want the console all right buy it at launch but if you really are still like deciding whether or not to get it to get it don't get it because i did that with the wii u the wii u i was like should i get it i don't know about this you know i'm i could wait but you know, I just I just got it anyways because it came out in November and November's my birthday. So I was like, you know what, I'll just get this for my, my for my birthday gift, you know, what what whatever. So I did that and I instantly regretted because there were only like two games at launch, you know, Nintendo Land and New Super Mario Bros. Some people may argue Zombie U, but you know what? I heard that game was average at best. So yeah. You know, just just wait a little if you're gonna buy a console or a handheld. And if you were to buy any console or handheld right now, I would say get the 3DS. I'm still, I'm still a bit shaky on the Wii U. You know, the Wii U still has games coming out, and the price is, mm, you know, it's it's three hundred dollars, which is okay. You know, it's it's under the price for the Xbox One and PS4, which is fine. So, you know, but the Wii U does have a library of games that you could go and choose from and stuff like that. Unlike the PS4, where you could play Batman, uh, Infamous. Uh, if you wanted, you could play GTA. Um, there's like, there's like other games. I don't know. Like those are like the only games I could think of when it comes to the PS4. So basically, wait, 
wait if you're gonna buy a console or handheld, especially if it's at launch, you know. It, and if you're debating whether to get it or not, don't get it. Wait a little bit, a year, that's fine. If you could wait even longer, that's better, because you'll probably get even more stuff. You know, you may even get a bundle with the system, like the Smash Brothers um, 3DS or something like that, you know, whatever. So, that is all I have for today. This video is getting a bit long, so I will see you guys next time with more videos. Game on, gamers.